All right, so let's take a look at part three of this lesson where, as we've been doing, we're going to explore some programming stacks that they've provided. And you see, we got we got two questions here. One, what do you see? And how can my blocks be used to organize and reuse code? So as we're looking at this, what is it that we see? We've got, again, two different types of programs when we press the left button on the Intelligent Hub and the right button on the Intelligent Hub. And you're going to note here that when we press the left button, what's going to happen is our robot is going to start to move right okay, at this 50 degree angle that we have been given at 40% speed. And it's going to continue to do that until right here our gyro sensor plugged into port 2 um, is changed more than 45 degrees. So um, if I plug my robot in here so you can see the the ports. Okay. So now if you look up top to our port 2 here, up top if I look at this, or actually they'll just go into port view here on the on the robot. We can see our motors and here's our gyro. And what that code is saying is when the angle has changed more than 45 degrees, it's going to stop moving and then our robot's just going to move forward for one rotation. And so if you look up here at this port, it's 286, and I start to move this, you can see that it's increasing that direction. So once it reaches a, a point of 45 degrees, it would kick out of that and then our robot's then going to start going straight. If I start going back here to the left, the numbers go down. So it's like a 360 degree uh, circle radius that we've got there. So that allows you to turn a little bit more precisely with your gyro sensor um, as you have that. Now if we take a look here at the next code, when the right button's pressed, all it shows is pattern. So this is one of those my blocks that we've been exploring, and so you can create your own programming blocks, which will make your bigger programs easier to follow and flow in the long run. So in this case, the pattern my block shows that for three times in a row, it's going to move forward for two rotations. So our robot's just going to go forward once it does that. All right, it's going to keep doing that, and it's then going to turn to the right at a 10% speed until it's changed more than 120 degrees. And then it's going to stop moving. It's going to go all the way back up here. And it's going to repeat that two more times. And so we should, if you haven't done this yet, look at the numbers. We have 120 degree turned. What do you think we're going to be doing? What should your robot logically do? Hopefully you start to realize, well, 120 plus 120 plus 120 is 360. And so the way to do that would be a triangle, right, with three sides. We repeat that pattern. So we should have a triangle pattern here um, with this next one. So let's go ahead and run it, see what it looks like. Obviously, you're going to be doing the same thing with your robot. But let's go ahead and transition over and uh, see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this program now. Go ahead and turn it on. I can see that it's flashing wait for the signal. If we press the left button here, uh, we should see our robot turn 40 degrees, 45 degrees, and then go straight here. So let's take a look here. Left button press. Okay, we'll run that again here. So wait for 45 degrees, and it went forward one rotation. And let's take a look here at what happens now when we press the right button. And we should, if my theory is correct, get a triangle. There we go. And we're right back at start. So go ahead and play around with that. Go ahead and share in the Slack channel your thoughts, your ideas. If you've used gyro, it can be one that I know it can be a little intimidating. And then we'll go ahead and get into part four next. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.